My name's Adam. I'm going to be taking you through this week's questions and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. In this week's question, I've been asked how I can create an isometric section view inside of SolidWorks. I've actually gone ahead and created a drawing first of all. It's just of a wireless router uh, that I've got here. And I'm going to actually run how to create a, a isometric section view within this model. So I think the easiest way possibly of doing this technique is first of all to create a section view. Now if you don't use the section view tool very often, uh, the first thing you've got to do is choose the cutting line uh, through which you want to cut through the model. So I'm going to choose to cut vertically uh, and I'll ho hover over this view uh, and just pick up the midpoint there. Okay, so that pops out uh, the section line and you can see the section scope has also popped up allowing us to choose certain components which we don't want to be cut by this section line. Uh, this will show up for multiple parts and assemblies. So with the view inserted I can just control drag it to break that alignment there uh, and then we insert the section view. Now if we wanted to take this view here and turn it into an isometric there's a little button at the top here 3D drawing view. If I click 3D drawing view I can simply rotate the model into position Okay. Alternatively, I can just select from any of the standard views there, so I could choose an isometric view, hit the tick, and there we have it, an isometric section view. Okay, so quite easy to insert. There is another option here which you might find useful though. If I click and insert a section view again, sometimes it's quite useful to insert half sections. So on this top view that I've got here, I'll insert a, a half section going through the design, just in the center there. The section scope pops up and this time actually I would like to choose something I don't want to cut uh, in this particular model. This drawing view that I've got here, I know it's drawing view 2, the second one I created. So I need to go down into the design tree of that item up on the left hand side and choose the item that I don't want to cut and that's this um, assembly just here. If I click uh, OK on that one We'll create my section view. Okay, don't worry about the fact that it's uh, on one side at the moment. I'm going to do the same trick as before of holding control just to move it out of the way. Now actually, if, if you do find you place the view and the alignment gets locked, you can't then hold control. It's worth pointing that out. So sometimes you have to right click on the view uh, to break alignment. So if I move the view up here, I can then again click this same button and rotate the view around. And I might just want to sort of rotate it around until I can see the right face. Don't worry about the fact that the edges of the uh, the view are actually missing. As soon as we hit the tick, it just updates. You'll notice though uh, that this line down the side here is not quite showing up right. There is an alternative if you, if you do find that you know you're getting this uh, and you want to get that line showing up properly. If you right click on the view and go to properties sometimes you might just have to untick this option just here uh, to hide the cutting line shoulder. There we go. Uh, and I'll show you that just from a, another perspective just so you can see it even better. If I rotate around you'll see that shoulder now shows up properly. There we go. Okay. So that's how you create an isometric section view within SolidWorks. Thanks very much for watching.